Hey guys, wanted to do a quick video. It's been a while and I hope the lighting is better on this video. Um, a couple things I'm going to try in the next couple videos that I do. Since I had all three of these units together at one time, I wanted to kind of go over all three. These are all three water vacs uh, and it's kind of unique that I have three of them in my possession right now. Everybody's very familiar with the Rainbow E2. I also have a Hyla GST um, that I picked up. Um, I am missing some of the attachments. The only attachment that I have is the crevice tool, so I'm trying to work with... There's not a lot of Hyla, Hyla dealers here in the United States, uh, but I did get a connection with uh, one, and I'm working to try to get some tools for this one. Um, this is, all these are pre-owned units. Um, I have gone through all three of these and done some maintenance work to them. The highlight did not bring all the attachments out for all of these units. I just want to show you the differences in the main units and the power heads. Um, all three units have, um, well, except the, the Delphin, um, they all have separate hoses, not electric, that you can use for the attachments. Um, but I just want to quickly go over the differences. I know a lot of you vacuum enthusiasts have, uh, you know, a lot of, there's a lot of water vacs out there, different kinds. Rotho was one that I never got the chance to play with and look at. Um, again, it was a German machine. These two units, um, the Hyla and the Delphin, are both, and, I'm, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I know Delphin for sure is a German made machine. Um, I am pretty sure uh, the Hyla is as well. Um, of course, Rainbow is made here. Um, everybody's very familiar with that unit. But I wanted to go over some quick differences. I'll start with the Rainbow because everybody knows about this machine because they sell quite a lot of these in the United States. Um, this is the E2 unit. Um, very nice looking machine, very modern looking. Um, I just throw the cords around these things and I don't wrap them up like a lot of people. This unit is a two speed uh, motor unit. So low speed is for air filtration, the high speed is for clean. Um, this is the water basin. Um, I had some water in this one a while ago. This is a used basin, it's not a new one. Um, it's, I think it holds two, I may be wrong on this, two quarts of water, if I'm correct. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, this one has separator technology on the bottom. The maintenance that you have to do with these units, take the separator off, there is a little built-in um, wrench. The Rainbow Videos and Rainbow Rex here will tell you, you're supposed to clean this every time that you use it. Um, I personally do not, um, but every couple of months, month, every month, make a schedule to take it off, clean it, put it back on, tighten it up. This is what creates the airflow. The air does go through the separator, goes through the motor and fan or fan blades, and then out the exhaust. Um, there are LED lights on this unit, and I will turn them on in a second so you can see it. Wheelbase attaches and you're ready to go. The Delphin is similar, very similar to the old Rainbows. This one has a HEPA filter in the back of it. Rainbow added that years ago um, because the Rainbow does not, as with, you didn't hear me say this, but Rainbow will not catch all the dust. I don't know of a water vac that will. Um, and if I'm wrong on that, please correct me. This is the Delphin. I can take this off. I see a little bit of fine dust on the exhaust cap. No HEPA on this one. Basically the old exhaust, just like you would on, a, on an old SE or D model. The uh, Delphin has a big separator on this one. I mean, it honestly looks just like the old um, D-series separators. It's metal. I'm 
searing. It's metal. You are supposed to take this and clean this off. There's no screws. It's got little. Uh, I wish I could help, but you don't seem to be connected to the internet. Sorry. Take the separator off. There you go. Every couple of times, use this, clean this, just like you would any other separator. Pop it back on. Um, another thing you can do, you can always take run your finger around under the separator and see the fine dust. So again, machines are not designed to collect all of the fine dust, especially like baby powder or stuff like that. This, this setup is a little unique in the fact that this water basin, and again, this is almost an identical replica to the old rainbow water basins. This rainbow, I mean, this water basin actually has a little notch here, and it actually fits down in here, and it locks onto the base. Now it does have spots for your tools in the back, your dust brush, grass tool, upholster brush, and then your toothbrush to clean the separator. It does have a docking station for your um, wand, and then your unit locks on just like the old rainbows do. So that is the Delphin. No extra HEPA filter to deal with. The power nozzle on that, I forgot to put this back on the rainbow, the power nozzle is a battery operated power nozzle. And I've got three batteries that came with this unit and I'm charging them up. But this is the battery and every, I don't even know how long a battery will last because I've never cleaned the entire house with this. Uh, but every couple of uses, you're going to, have to take this battery out and charge it. Or honestly, every time you use it, I pop it on the charger. That way it's always ready. Kind of like a um, Dyson cordless. We've got a little, of course, the battery's about dead. You've got a little green LED light. It's not even lit up here. So the battery's about shot. But that is your power nozzle. There's no wiring. All of these tubes come loose. Um, they do, you can get a retrofitted power nozzle that's electric. It does have an electric port here on the top that you can plug that into. Um, this is mainly designed for the shampoo kit that comes with the Delphin. Um, again, lot, not a lot of service technicians here in the United States that will work on these. Um, I do get emails occasionally from one because I ordered a part from a, a company. And as far as I know, they are the only Delphin um, dealer here in the United States. But again, that's your power nozzle for that. So the hassle with that is no HEPA, and you also have to have to deal with batteries, charging batteries up on that unit. But it is a nice little unit. It's lightweight. Um, you can tell it's built very well. On and off switch on the top. It looks like it's an adjustable, but it's not. Just one flick and it's on, one flick it's off. And I'll show you that in a second. The last unit, slide this little bad boy out here, is the Hyla. Um, again, I've messed with a few of these. Great machines, no extra hemp filter on the back. They tout their machine as not having to have the separator cleaned. It's a self-cleaning separator. Um, I'll show you to you in a second. Great machine to me, honestly, and I'll prove this my point in a second because they've got a back meter that I'll show you. The airflow on both of these G these units, the Delphin and the Hyla, do not measure up to the Rainbow. The Rainbow has more power than these units. But again, you don't have extra maintenance to deal with with the HEPA filters and all of that. Um, it does have a sticker on the back here that Hyla is allergy friendly, GST certified by the GBBT AG Switzerland. There was my answer. This thing is made in Slovenia, right here on the sticker. Uh, cord wraps around the top here, rainbow wraps around the uh, cord hook on the back, and then the Hyla really does not have a cord anywhere, you just wrap it around the machine. So I, that's one of the reasons that I just take the cord and throw it over the hook there. No HEPA filter on the back, you've got an exhaust port, same as with the Delphin. Plug your hose into it and use it as a blower. I will say, there's not any dust in the back of this exhaust port. So, um, again, 
we're fixing to find out. Both, well, I will say this unit versus the other two. The main difference when I turn these units on, all of your airflow comes directly through the air intakes. The way this machine is designed, you've got slots here on the sides. When the hose connects, it directs all of the airflow in through the hose. If you're just running this unit on um, airflow mode or clean, air cleaning mode, you put your hand over this thing, you feel like there's nothing moving, but that's because the way this inlet is designed, airflow is coming from here into the machine here. It's kind of crazy the way it's designed. And you'll get to hear the difference in the volume levels as well. <coughs> and I apologize, I've had a cold. Um, core storage is very nice. The main unit, I will say I like the way the top is designed. Um, very easy to use. Your separator here that you never are supposed to have to take off and clean. One of the biggest differences with the water basin, you do have a latch that release the water basin, is unlike these other two, you fill this one up to the line here and they've got a max line on the side of the basin here. Your air intake hole is always going to be below the water line. On the Rainbow and the Delphin, it's not the case. Now granted, when you turn these machines on, that separator creates air movement in here and it will cause air to be able to come, your airflow to come through the water or up, bubble up around it. But I do like the fact that this is below the water line. So there's no chance, a lesser chance of dust escaping. But that's your water basin. It's got a nice little carry handle on it. I do like that. Um, and it does lock onto the base. Very easy to connect the motor. Set it down, pull it up. Oops. Set it down, pull it up, it locks in. So, um, and size wise, it's about the same size as the other two units here. So, the power nozzle on the Hyla is basically the, the uh, ESCO. version of it. So you got a wide clean path um, on here. Very well built machine. This one does have two LED lights on the front. Your rainbow power nozzle. LED light strip across the front. But you've got a very limited cleaning path. So you can see, you've got way more cleaning path with the power nozzle here. Now the Delphin, again it's a small little, you've still got more cleaning area on the Delphin battery powered power nozzle than you do with the Rainbow. Now granted, Rainbow's claim to fame on this new design is this brushes this swivel the dirt in. Give me a power or a brush roll any day. But, uh, that's your power nozzle. The hose on the Hyla is very stiff. Rainbow and the Delphin, not so much. Um, let me fill these up with water and I'll be right back. I'm going to show you guys the, the units when they're running. Hang tight. As you can see, I've put water in it. You've got a fill line at the top. Always fill your water basin to the top of that peg. In the rainbow, I brought in a light to help. Same kind of peg, water up to the knob. And the Hyla, same deal. You've got a max fill line over here. And even max water line there. 
I was going to say the Hyla holds more water than the Rainbow or the Delphin. They both hold about the same amount, which I'm guessing is about two to three quarts of water. This one holds a lot more, so you don't have to dump the water as frequently. So I've gotten water in all three units. They're all ready to go. I forgot to mention the Hyla does have a self-timer function on the machine. So literally, you can actually turn the unit on and it starts at a lower power for air filtration. It will run for 35 minutes on a self-timer. At the end of 35 minutes, the machine shuts off, the light stays lit green, and it's set for you to come by and cut it, to unit it off, or connect the power nozzle or a hose and continue cleaning. There is a mechanism inside the port here. As soon as you connect any hose, not electric or electric, it actually ramps the motor up to a higher speed for cleaning. So you'll be able to hear the difference in the machine here. Hear the difference? Now it does stay the same speed if you unplug the hose. It will continue to run. It will not be on a self timer. It's only if you start the machine without a hose in, in, uh, in the air intake will it do the self timer. So that's the highlight. You can hear the sound of that one. Rainbow. I personally think that's a lousy speed for airflow. There's hardly any air going in the machine. Iowa, you have a lot of airflow going on, even on that lower speed. Cleaning mode. A lot more airflow. As you can see, the Hyla had LED lights in the bowl as well. Maybe you can. They're there. I can put my hand over the air intake all day long. It does not stop the airflow because the air is coming in through the port here. They actually have a little mechanism that you can pop into the air intake here so it quiets it. Um, oops, I didn't even have the lock on here. I played around with it. You pull the lever and it locks it together. Um, so that's your highlight. The Delphin is a one speed. No two speeds on this one. Your air exhaust comes all the way around the machine. We'll grab this camera. You guys saw maybe about 45. Let's switch this thing around on the rainbow. Flip it on low to begin with. Yeah. So on air filtration mode, you're getting nothing, which I didn't expect it to. Since the Hyla is designed the way it is, I'm going to have to put the hose on this one.
it's pushing almost 50 on the Highland. That's on high. So Highland Delphin are about the same range in the air. Um, inches of water on this meter here, which doesn't surprise me because Rainbow does have a lot more, but y'all saw that. The last thing that I wanted to do, I'm not going to do it on the Rainbow because I just installed a new HEPA filter. And if you have not gone back and looked at my older videos of me tearing apart a motor on the Rainbow just to prove the misconception that these water vacs will catch any of the dust coming into the machines, go back and watch those. The HEPA was installed years ago because the motor, the water basin, did not catch all the dust. Now, just for kicks and giggles, because I've not played around with these two, um, I'm going to put some baby powder on the floor. I'll do the same over here for the Delphin. And I'm not going to use a lot. This is going to mimic fine dust. Um, Sheetrock dust, especially carpet fresh. I cannot tell you, and it's not just water vacs, I cannot tell you how many times I've gotten a vacuum in. People have constantly used carpet fresh. Folks, all that stuff does is clog up your bags, it tears your motors apart, and it and you're breathing that stuff in the air. Look at the chemicals on the, on the ingredients list. That's what's going in your lungs. So I strongly discourage people from using um, any kind of carpet fresh. If you want to deodorize, put if you've got a water vac, put um, essential, not essential oils because you can't use that in the plastic, but put um, water soluble uh, fragrances in your water basins or get pellets or fresh air or something like that to put in your vacuum bags um, to deodorize while you're cleaning. I'm going to put vacuum just to see if y'all can see any dust come out of this unit. Now I don't know, I'll have to watch the replay on it. I don't know what came out. I just vacuum up the pile in front of the hyla with just the wand. I'm going to take <clears throat> and there's the baby powder. I'm not really seeing any on the separator, so Kudos to the highlight. I don't see any baby powder on the exhaust either. That's back in place. Set this over here. All right.
I can still see some baby powder in the carpet from that. Uh, but y'all saw the dust on I, I I saw it. I'll have to look at the replay on this video, but I saw the plume of dust come out the back. So yeah. Not too good on that one. Low power and barely filtered anything. There it went. Golly. Just say up some the water. Yeah, there's baby powder in there, but I saw a lot of it shoot out the exhaust port right then. So that's the Delphin. And I'm not even gonna try the rainbow because it's got the HEPA on it. Um, and I just installed a brand new HEPA, but trust me. If I took the HIPAA off and did the same thing, it would do the exact same thing as the Delphin here. Um, I'm still kind of shocked about the Hyla. So, hey, shout out to Corey for giving me that uh, tidbit to try. Um, I will show you the power nozzle on this Hyla. Uh, I've got the camera rolling. Now, it is kind of a little pain to connect this, but once you connect it, because you've got two separate hoses, you're good to go. Most people are going to leave this hose connected. It's a little push pin. You've got a secret little door here that you connect the power to. Sorry, I was out of frame. Cord connects right here. You lift the door up. Connect the cord. You're good to go. enjoyed it it was fun for me to throw these three together real fast and kind of prove a point um, hope you learned something rainbow has the most power out there the other two units are great units some advantages versus disadvantages but again it's personal preference so I don't ever try to tell people what to buy when they're looking for a vacuum but I just wanted to show these three water vacs there are more out there um, a lot are made overseas, Germany, Switzerland, um, you name it. So do your research, play around with, uh, if you have access to some of these machines, look on Facebook Marketplace, a lot of times you can find uh, good units, especially here in the United States. Rainbow is very prevalent on Facebook Marketplace, but be very careful. If you buy a unit, it doesn't matter if it's a water vac or a regular vacuum, the machine needs to be serviced. Um, I cannot tell you, I would say 98 to 99% of the time, if I pick up a machine, there's 
dirt dust, all kinds of stuff inside the machine. It needs to be cleaned or as soon as you cut that unit on, you're going to expose your home to everybody else's germs and bacteria and dust. So be very careful of buying a used machine like that. I would always have anything that you pick up service prior to use or prior to you bringing it into your home. I learned a valuable lesson. This is nasty, but I learned a valuable lesson a couple of years ago. I had brought home a Kirby. Again, you don't know how people live. Um, I have experienced, not personally, but uh, a friend of mine experienced bed bugs, bringing bed bugs home from a hotel before. Um, I brought a unit home. My shop is in the garage. Tore the unit apart. I did not tear the entire motor of this Kirby apart, but everything else was torn apart and cleaned. And I, once everything was cleaned and put back together, I set that unit in my dining room. Uh, fast forward two weeks, I ended up seeing little tiny baby cockroaches around my dishwasher. Never have had roaches before. I have a pest guy that comes every three months. And I started tracing it back. That was the only thing that I brought inside the house from outside. And he was 99.9% .9 sure that that motor because it's warm, that house, that machine was in prior, cockroaches got into it, and I brought them inside my house by setting that unit in the dining room. So I never bring a unit inside my home anymore unless I have torn it completely apart and everything stays out in the garage now. So be careful. That's all I'm going to say. Hope you learned something. This was fun. I enjoyed it. Thank you guys for subscribing. Um, I'm going to try to do videos more often, uh, but I do appreciate all of my subscribers, and um, have fun.